Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather in this afternoon update. Some honorable mentions, two of my bullseyes. We're going to start out with Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee first. Jackson Hole reported 15 inches in the last 24 hours and it's still snowing. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Oh, <laughs> it had to have been a good day. Tomorrow's going to be a good day because you've got more snow coming. Uh, it's not done yet. Uh, my second honorable mention, Steamboat. You've had at least a foot and you've probably got another foot to go something like that um, but it's going to be tomorrow's going to be great it's going to be outstanding mount warner storm peak buff pass cameron pass zirkel um, all those places are going to be outstanding as it continues to snow tomorrow Ten thousand foot temps um, all weekend will be at about uh, 10 10 degrees so we're talking good efficient snowfall here all right let's talk bullet points um, so we're looking at a western pattern pivot right now so there's an Arctic air mass on the other side of this. So the whole thing is dropping south and will pivot. And it will deliver some snow to California, but nothing like what I had thought was going to um, fall there. It's, it's, it's actually looking lighter. But the whole thing will then pivot and then drop to the south as the southern tracks a uh, storm system. But here's the, here's the issue with all this. There is going to be snow in southern Utah, southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. I'm not expecting a lot in northern New Mexico. And the numbers um, in southern Colorado have trended down. So once, you know, a few days ago, it looked like this was going to be a big event. Now the numbers have gotten have been diminished. I mean, we're still going to see snow. Don't get me wrong, but nothing like what I thought was going to happen there a few days ago. In the northeast, two to three different clippers, very fast flow um, in the northeast. I don't have any big snow in my forecast for the northeast, but I'll show you what I've got coming up. Here's the pattern with the, uh, the jet stream, and this is at 2.5 on 2-5. Um, so there's going to be a quiet period. We're in a stormy period for the West through about 131-2-1. Then we're in a quiet period, 2-1, 2-2, 2-3, 2-4, that, we might get some action, but you can see the ridging jet arcing to the north. Um, this flow is directed into BC, Canada, Pacific Northwest at that moment. Um, that's where the big snow is going to be in those areas. But lower west, mm, you're beneath that uh, that ridging jet, not looking great, but that's going to be a quiet period. Um, let me just show you what um, the jet looks like, um, or the pattern, the uh, water vapor looks like right now. Um, so here are the features that matter. Uh, another load dropping in. So this is what the jet would look like. Um, it's kind of like this, big arcing up, and then lower pressures taking over the west so there's your high right in here and this is what i talked about you know this retrograding high it's moving back allowing the pressures to drop across the west and this low to move down that's the pivot in the pattern that is exactly what i was talking about so that's going to be the case for the next few days and then after that, we're going to move into a quiet period, like I was saying, on or after 2-1. Quiet period settling in. Here's the forecast radar in the satellite. So there's Saturday morning at 6. Everything is pivoting. Um, you can kind of see it happening Sunday morning at 6. There's Monday morning at 6. Everything drops down as a southern track low. There's Tuesday morning at 6. And there will be some snow, but again, not the big, big numbers like I was thinking a few days ago. And then we're in the quiet period. And you can really see it right there on 2-1. Um, with all the action being routed up into BC, Pacific Northwest, and Canada. And actually, I'm looking at very good totals for parts of the Pacific Northwest, um, Baker, Whistler, but that's down the road. That's after 2-1. Um, okay, let's talk about snow numbers. Uh, and here they are. So this is 120, the rest of today through the 29th. Um, so again, another foot in steamboat, potentially. Um, another foot uh, potentially up around the Tetons, two to five in the Wasatch. And then here's the second period. Everything drops to the south, um, and uh, you've got good snow coming in to southern Colorado, probably six to 12 inches. At, once, at one point, I thought we might be looking at a foot or more in a lot of those locations. Now we're kind of in that six to 12 inch range um, as everything kind of slides through. But nonetheless, it's going to be a uh, good storm system for Colorado. Look to the Pacific Northwest. You can see potentially we're looking at two or three feet for Whistler in Blackcomb 
after 2-1 into that 2-2-2-3-2-4-2-5 time period. More likely it's going to be 2-3-2-4-2-5 for Baker and Whistler to see the really big totals. All right, guys, uh, let's end it on the Northeast. You can see it's kind of a 6 to 12 inch forecast, but that's accounting for two to three different uh, clippers, so it's not all going to come at one time. Thanks for tuning in here, guys. Always appreciate it, and have a great weekend.